This is Landrider 7, aka LR7. Land here to shed some light about the Las Vegas shooting that took place on October 1st at the Route 91 Harvest concert, where over 50 people died and over 500 people got injured on that night of the shooting. As much as I'd like to have some evidence or something to show that isn't just me talking, I have this video here in the background that shows the crime scene when I was walking towards the Mandalay Bay. In case anyone had spotted some details that I have missed, go ahead and let me know and pinpoint exactly where they're at. So the mainstream media portrays that there was a lone gunman that was shooting from the 32nd floor of the Mandalay Hotel where the crime took place. However, there are some other details that don't seem to add up as to how he was able to carry so many weapons into his room. So one of the scenarios I could think of in order for him to sneak all these weapons through, he had to have paid one of the housekeepers to keep their mouth shut in order for him to carry all those weapons. According to an insider that I have personally have talked to that I won't reveal her name in order to keep her identity protected. As I was watching a couple of videos from End Time News Report where he happened to be one of the very first who had reported on this shooting when I first heard about it. So rather than going on Fox News or NBC or CNN, I went to him and found some very interesting information that actually makes a little bit more sense and gets even stranger, raising more questions and answers on what authorities have been doing during the investigations and what they are not telling us, the public. There has been a lot of computer laptops and cell phones that have been confiscated by FBI and police officers and once they have been returned to the rightful owners, any recordings or photos or text messages about the event have been deleted as if they were trying to cover up their tracks or they wanted to not ha reveal any further evidence about what really happened, making it very difficult to to further research about this shooting. Not to mention that most of the photos they showed about the shooting, as I further look into these photos, most of these money shots were actually the work of a crowd of people that were fabricating these photos in order to support the lone gunman story that the mainstream media used in order to display these so-called distress actors made it seem like they've been the victims when really these photos had been taken days or even weeks in advance and the weird thing is I remember seeing an article that has been uploaded some hours before the actual shooting took place which kind of makes it a little odd on how they knew about this there was also a video of a taxi driver who was recording the the shooting that happened on the fourth where it clearly looked like flashes of light as if there was gunfire and she recorded that moment and even told the tourists uh, that there was a shooting and were wondering why they're just standing there and further in the video she drove where the event was taking place where there was a bunch of people just running away from that concert and even took one of them for a ride to a hospital and when I tried looking for that video again it got deleted and as much as I'd like to keep that video I didn't make a backup of it so I can include it on this one which I probably should have done that before something like this happened with the whole YouTube censorship. Earlier in this video I mentioned that there were multiple shootings but did you know that there was a helicopter that was also firing was involved in the shooting. I came across a video that shows the FBI barging in the Tropicana Casino with armed weapons ready to fire at anyone at any moment as they were walking through looking for someone. Aren't they supposed to go to where the shooting is at instead of this location?
really odd. Speaking of the authorities, there's also one where it shows a police cam behind some wall as if this man was getting ready to go in for the action. Then there was this gunshot that happened before the whole shooting in the air took place behind a fence inside the concert. Also, I've noticed that there wasn't any sign of any ambulance vehicles driving near the concert when instead they end up parking near the Hooters. But why the Hooters and not by the concert? You know, there was a road where I was walking by where they can easily just drive near it and pick up these injured people but why a hooters and where's the evidence of people inside the hooters casino that they were taking shelter in that is something that doesn't seem to make sense to me there are so many things that were happening behind the scenes which again i won't be able to cover all of it here's also another detail that i wanted to bring up the location of the Mandalay Bay area code is 89119. You know, those last three numbers seem familiar. If you were to move the numbers the other way around, or at least those three, it shows 911. Hmm, there has been satanic occults involved, which could be a possibility, not to mention about the pedophile link with the shooter Payton of a rich man with a dark secret working hand to hand with a shadow government that helped set up 9-11 and Sandy Hooks as well as countless other major events and this one is no different for it has been planned out very well in advance. Again, until any further information comes out much later and maybe as new evidence gets released over time. Till then, this is LR7 logging out.